Good afternoon. I am in Warminster. Warminster is gorgeous. It's such a lovely little town. Um, little. It's, it's quite a big town, but it's got some beautiful historic buildings. Really, really charming. And lots and lots and lots of charity shops. So we're going to have a full day. A really full day. This might even be a two-parter, I don't know. But seriously, a really full day of hunting. And, and I want you to come with me and share um, and enjoy a hunt round Warminster charity shops. Anyway, come with me, have a good time and enjoy. Love this blue. You can see a big bag of beads in my hand. Bernardo's had a very nice shop too. And some very classy pieces, some nice things in there. Definitely worth a look. Good cross section of sizes as well, not just all the tiny stuff. I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> There's Dorothy House. Bought quite a few things here too. As you can see. Arms full of beads. There's a little bit of a jewellery piece at the end where I'm showing you all the... Because I bought so much jewellery. And unbagging my bag full of unknown treasures. African vibe in that. He looks quite relaxed. The sleeves were too tight. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Could have been cool. Loved this Roman suit. So, outfit number one. This has got a lovely sort of African vibe to it. This lovely thin um, chiffony over jacket. Um, nice for the summer. Chuck it on over um, without having to worry too much. Um, it was a Anne Harvey jacket and it was £4 and it came from the Wessex Multiple Cirrhosis Therapy Shop. Um, I put it with the black and white beads that I found in Barnstable and a plain black dress. Here's outfit number two. Um, this is a red herring dress. Um, <laughs> interesting name. That that's what it is. It's red herring. Um, it's a size 20. Uh, it cost me £6. And again, that was from the um, multiple sclerosis shop. Um, I've put over, uh, put a throw over it. It's quite sheer. Um, I can see that the tag is showing terribly on it though, so that probably needs to be cut off before I wore it out. But um, yes, light enough just to keep the chill off you in the summer. So this is the Romaine Roman suit. Um, it was from the Blue Cross cost me seven pounds for both pieces altogether. Um, the necklace uh, came from Dorothy House, was one pound. I thought it worked really, really well with the suit. Um, I love the points on the skirt. Um, I haven't necessarily got them in the right place, but I just thought they're very nice. I like the print as well. It's actually quite interesting. The, it, the black part of the top is all joined in. So it's like one piece. It looks like it's over top. But yes, this is very comfortable, very light, nothing heavy. You can see it's very thin and I like it. So yeah, I thought that was a bargain at £7. Roman is a very classy brand, so that was good. <laughs> Having a little bit of fun. And here is outfit number 
three, four, four. This really is a mega haul. Um, this shirt is very sheer. It's by Virtuel. It's four pounds fifty from Bernardo's. Um, I've stuck it with the leggings and the and the top because there were so many dresses, and I just thought you needed something that was different. So I put this with. Um, the leggings but to be honest I think it would have probably looked better with a plain black dress I'm not sure that the sh the blue really worked with it but I did like it so there we go I put it with a headscarf the headscarf was £1.50 from Dorothy House as well um, just because sometimes I like to put a silly bow in my hair there it is with my skeleton earrings just to make it even more fun really interesting print on this one very different, very sheer, very cool. Oh, go! Yeah. I am sure I owned this skirt, this sorry, this this shirt back in the two thousands, early two thousands. It's from Evans, and I'm absolutely sure I had exactly the same one. It cost five pounds fifty. It's an XXL. It was from the children's hospice. I just love this colour. I think it's a blurple. It's a blue purple, so I've named it blurple. I put it with the peak toe shoes, which were new look, and they cost three pounds also from the children's hospice. Um, and the necklace is one I bought ooh, many moons ago in Heavy Tree. But what a fabulous shirt. I mean, I could see that being chucked on over all sorts of things. Just a quick flash of the shoes. And we're done. Ooh, the hunky point dress. Funky, definitely funky. Um, certainly my jacket's not ironed, uh, but I don't have an iron in my van, so that's why some things are a lot more wrinkly than they should have been. Um, this, I think, is quite a, quite a powy, quite a powerful um, outfit. Well, that's cerise pink and uh, royal blue, uh, but it is quite nice. And I put it with the pink earrings from Ottery St Mary. So there you have it. Pretty fabric, nice design, uh, a little bit too short in the body for me. Um, I'll probably put this on on Vinted to sell because I think somebody else would look better in it than me. The pink earrings with it just pick up that cerise all, all around the neck. Nice fabric. So these are the jewel, bits of jewellery and stuff I thought. First one is a lip gloss um, that I found in Bernardo's. It's sort of got a gold and lavender mix, um, but it just sort of leaves a little golden sheen over your lips when you put it on over your lipstick. Rather liked it. So I bought it one pound. This gorgeous pink beads were from Dorothy House. They were two pounds. Very tactile, very nice to touch. Very pretty. Not sure what I'm going, to, I'm going to put them with yet, but I'm sure I will find the just the perfect thing. These ones I thought would look very nice with the linen Italian dress that I bought. Um, the lovely shade of aqua. Nice and long. Two pounds. This one, now I shouldn't have bought this. It's got two stones missing, but to me it was just a challenge. I really like the necklace and I thought I'm going to somehow I'm going to fiddle with that and make it work. So I will try and do so. These ones were new look. They were one pound from Bernardo's. I just thought they might go with some things I had. Now, this necklace was an enamel necklace um, and I thought I would put it with the one I'd already bought in Heavy Tree and make a pair out of them. So the one I bought in Heavy Tree, the top one, cost three ninety five, and the dangly one cost £3 in the Wessex Multiple Sclerosis Therapy Shop. I think I'll get some more out of those. This little set, which is a bracelet and a necklace, were £2. And um, they're just such pretty colours. Really pretty colours. Um, this necklace um, is a sort of the typical sort of Victorian button style necklace, but I thought it was quite a pretty one. And it's very summery. Now for the bag. This was from the Children's Hospice. Um, and it was five pounds. And as you can see, there's all sorts of stuff in there. Bracelets and 
necklaces and all sorts. Bag of beads. Those are troll beads with the, the nice metal linings on the beads, like uh, the Pandora ones. Some really nice glass ones there, some proper Venetian glass. So these will probably all get made into things eventually. Um, and I'll probably show you as I go along what I end up making with them. Um, this was a bag full of all sorts of odds and, so odds and sods. Pretty pair of little aqua earrings. And all sorts of bits. A little pair of um, blue diamondy silver flowers which were actually quite pretty but probably a little too small for me as in I I sort of think I prefer bolder things for myself. There's another pair of little aqua dangly ones there which are ever so pretty but really not me. So I'll probably either redonate them or sell them on my vintage shop or give them away to somebody I think they would look nice on. There's a couple of odd earrings in there as well. Um a couple of studs one um, hope, little angel hope, and a, and one clip-on earring. So an odd bunch of things. And one tiny little silver elephant all by himself. So there we go. My five-pound bag of treasure ready to be played with. Okay, and I will get back to you and I will show you what I do with the things that are in this bag. This necklace, I'm just going to quickly show you, is um, rather pretty. It's the one I wore with the um, Roman suit. I think it's very nice. It cost me one pound. And that was from the Dorothy house as well. Like, subscribe, share, tell a friend. Appreciating all your lovely messages. What a nice bunch of people you are. Nothing but positive and happy. So nice to know you all. And uh, catch you next week.